Hey, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random. Today, we're talking all about straps. In this time of uncertainty where people are saving their money and not spending like they used to, people are more apprehensive to buy watches themselves. So what I'm going to show you is how you can take the watch that you have and sort of change the character of it by spending maybe 30 or $40 on a watch strap. Let's flip the camera around and I'll show you what I got. Now, like I said in the intro, it is all about straps today. Now, living in this world where everybody's sort of locked down, nobody can necessarily go out and spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a watch. But maybe you can start upgrading the watches you have with different straps. I said in a previous video, and I'll link above, that it is important that a person understand how to change the strap of a watch because you have so many options that you can use to actually create a different character in the watch itself. Now let's go over a few straps that I have here on the bench. Now here is a Jubilee style bracelet that I got on my Parnas Datejust and I'll show you this one as a comparison to everything else in just a moment. This is a vulcanized rubber strap. What it is, is a solid rubber strap along the top. It is reinforced here and it has a curvature right here that fits to the case shape this I bought for my Rolex Submariner as sort of a difference from the Oyster Flex because this is $40 as opposed to $240. And I'll tell you that this quality is amazing. Also, I like the green that'll fit with the Rolex Hulk. Now, this right here is the Strapco. Now, this is more closely related to the Oyster Flex because it has this bridge right here that allows some ventilation on your wrist. However, this is a flat silicone rubber, so it kind of leaves a gap in the case, and I'll show you how to fix that. This right here is from the same company as this. Again, I'll link in the description, and this is slightly different because this is a leather strap that has the curvature right here reinforced on the inside that fits to the case shape. This I actually got from my buddy's Rolex dial link right here. And I got this specifically for him. And the owner, again, who messed up my order for this one and gave me those, gave me two of these. One of which to review with my buddies and one of which to have myself. Now this, again, is a distressed leather strap. All of these are 20 millimeters because most watches are 20 millimeters unless you have something like my Hamilton Khaki King which is 22 or something like a Panerai. Those are 24, slightly larger. This is really cool because this one offers the quick set and we'll go over that in just a minute. So why in this time of uncertainty would you get something like this accessory for your watch? Well, because this is $39.99, $39.99, $29.99, and again, about $30 to $40. So even though you can't afford to maybe buy a $400 watch or $4,000 watch, you can upgrade the watches you have. Now, let's go over why you should upgrade your watches with different straps and how you can make one watch look super dressy and then look sort of dressed down. So here is a Parnas date just on a Jubilee bracelet. You can see that it looks extremely dressy. This thing would go very well with a suit and a tie or something similar, you know, a very dressy situation. That's why a lot of people wear date justs and think of date justs or the day date as a uh, very dressy watch. You can see with the fluted bezel and the Jubilee bracelet, it just has a nice overall look. Now let's change this into a casual watch. Here it is without the Jubilee bracelet. Now we're gonna use these right here because this is a very good sort of example of how to change this into something that you can wear with a t-shirt or maybe a polo and some shorts. Now these are the quick straps, the quick release straps you can see right there. And when you do this, you always put the buckle on the top and the other side on the bottom. It's just sort of the way it is. 
Now here it is on the distressed brown leather strap. You can see it just gives it an overall more casual look, something you can wear with, again, a t-shirt or a polo, and, it, and that really nice dress watch just got dressed down. Let's put it on the wrist and I'll show you what I mean. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You see, it just is far more dressed down, very casual, and something you just wouldn't expect from something that you thought would be a dress watch. Now, this is why I think in these times when people can't afford to really go out and buy any more watches, that you should look at more the accessories and the more affordable accessories because just because a watch strap is $40 doesn't mean you can't put it on an expensive watch and still make it look great. Now, before we go any further, I will tell you that I bought the first strap on my own. This is in no way an advertisement for somebody else. Now, the reason why I'm leaving a link in the description below for where I got these is because the owner, the guy I was dealing with, is an extremely nice guy. Knowing that he sent me the wrong strap, he was willing to send me uh, the strap that I ordered plus another strap and keep this strap because it was you know, originally the wrong one. I think that it's extremely good business practice and this straps are extremely good quality and I will for sure be ordering more of these in the future. Now let's look at a more sporty model and we'll put maybe the vulcanized rubber strap on the Rolex. Now before I put this on my Submariner, I do have to tell you that this is something that you have to size yourself. And this is originally meant to go with the original buckle from the Oyster bracelet. So there is a little bit of work that you have to do. Let's flip to the future and see what it looks like. And here it is on the wrist. You can see I love the way the green matches the green. The black is extremely sporty. Now the thing that I love the most about this is this is an extremely tight fit right along here. You don't have to worry about this. This isn't moving at all. This is just, it's extremely solid. See, it goes along with the, the case curvature. It's just an absolutely beautiful strap. Extremely solid, well-made. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to spend $300 to get a very good looking strap here. I, I highly recommend these. Now I would put on the leather strap. However, this is for my buddy's black Rolex. Um, I'll do a review in the future of this one, but I can probably tell you that it's gonna fit the exact same way as this. Extremely tight and well made. I'm so happy that I got this. I was kind of concerned about how this would fit because I tried the, the Strapco sort of similar curved and it was a little loose. I was sort of depressed with this one, but for $10 more, this thing is amazing. To the last strap I was talking about, this one that's more like the Oyster Flex because it has the sort of internal bridge that allows some ventilation. Now, I do not like the fact that this is not curved. See, sort of like on this one, you can see it leaves a gap in between the watch, which is a look that you may like. However, if you don't like that look, you could always go for something like this. This is the official time, and these right here are end links that go between the watch and the, and the actual band itself to give it a more seamless look, to take a band that is like this and make it more like that. Now I will be doing a review on these in the future. These are about $89, $90. They are the same 904L stainless steel as the Rolexes. So we're gonna sort of see just how good they actually are. Stay tuned for this review, probably coming in the next week or two. Now, like I said in the review, this is in no way a sponsored advertisement. I really love the watch straps that I ordered. I ordered these off of eBay. Again, I'll leave the link down in the description below. This guy is a really great guy. The quality of watch straps that he has are extremely good. I would compare the vulcanized rubber black and green strap for my Submariner as something the same or equivalent 
as something that's either high quality or equivalent to something that would be a couple hundred bucks. So give him a look. I will definitely be ordering more in the future, so you should check them out for yourself. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see next. I got so much stuff coming up in the future. Again, I've been releasing videos every two days. I will try to stay on that schedule to keep you guys entertained because you're stuck at home. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.